Good morning, Wastelanders. This is Oscapped. And I'm Noodle Pants. And Bethesda just dropped what they're claiming is the first look at the season 18 rewards. Unfortunately, it's a YouTube video that's a minute and 15 seconds long, so I'm concerned that maybe there just aren't very many rewards. Maybe they're just so epic and they're really so quickly like boom, 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 boom. Wow. That sounds familiar. Wait, what do, how do I, what do I know that from? <laughs> Never just, mind. Just roll it. We've not seen this video yet, so this is going to be our first response. And as always with Bethesda, we have high expectations. No, high hopes. And low expectations. All right, so it's all like epic and stuff. Dum, dum, dum. Okay, people walking, caravanning, I guess. Okay, so that's the reskinned Hunter's Lodge. The br We've seen these. We saw these from the data mine. Yeah, I okay. mean, we haven't seen them we in We haven't seen 3D. it in action. Wall mounted. The beehives, we saw that. This display pillar thingy I liked. Ah, this is the backpack display. Okay. Which is actually the Fosnacht mask display, but reskinned. Snow globe display is new. That's cool for those of you who collect snow globes. Okay, okay, this is the building set that we didn't believe in. We thought it was pretty dumb, but it actually looked kind of cool. So it was, it was like I said, bam, 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 boom. That was the weakest rewards <laughs> display that I have ever seen. I thought it was over way too quickly. Wait, that also sounds familiar. <laughs> I mean, in the past, we've gotten actual scoreboard pages that we can talk about, but this thing's coming out in five days and that's all they can give us. And where's that? We already know all of that. That's less than what we saw in the data mine. That's so true. We had a really nice preview for the Pioneer Scouts season. I mean, granted, we talked some smack about it because we didn't like all the things presented, but the presentation itself was really great. It was in chapters, it had titles, it had B roll, it had explanation. A minute of some random B roll is weak. Weak and lazy Bethesda. Well, they also gave us the new community calendar. So we can see that we've got milepost zero drops and then let's skim through this and see if, we have a, see if we have anything interesting. Okay, October, spooky camp competition. Oh, <gasps> okay, okay, that's exciting. I am definitely going to be building a spooky camp and I will be doing a spooky camp building tutorial for all of you who follow me in my camp builds. We've got Spooky Scorched and Trick or Treat events running from October 22nd to November 5th. It looks like since Spooky Camp Competition is listed for October, that's probably gonna be the best build theme for the entire month, which makes sense. Cool, cool, cool. The whole Spooky Scorch thing is just super exciting. Halloween is my favorite time of the year. Moving into November, we've got Invaders from Beyond from the 12th through the 26th. And then we have Fallout 76's birthday on November 14th. We can expect them to do something special for that. Oh, they may do like free items in the Atomic Shop. Treasure Hunter Weekend coming up on December 5th and Holiday Scorched running over Christmas from December 17th to January 2nd. Oh, hey, Holiday Scorched on the actual holidays. who to thunk? <laughs> they must have hired somebody new to manage the calendar. <laughs> Otherwise, the community calendar kind of just looks the same. It's got the same double score, double script, gold rush, mutated stuff as before. So there's not a lot to look forward to there. We try to be excited and cheerful about all the upcoming stuff, but sometimes, man, it's just, they, they don't give us a lot to work with to be excited about. I think they're trying to prevent creators like us from- Leaking stuff. <laughs> well, no, just- But from, it's coming. From, from ripping it apart. Oh. But they have they have such a poor track record that that you would think they would try a little harder, especially after announcing yesterday that they're not even releasing the entire Milepost Zero as promised. Oh, dude, what's up with that? They've cut out some portion of the caravan experience, either the oh, caravans no. themselves or the... What's the, the thing the called? Outpost, the, the outpost that you're supposed to get. Yeah, one of them, or both of them, who the hell knows, is now pushed out until later in the month of September, which means probably, realistically, next June. Oh wait, hold on. Look at December. What? What's up with December? New update and season 19. 
Season 19, whoa! Okay, we can expect to get season 19 sometime in December. Something to look forward to. Yeah, right around my birthday. Well, we will be here on September 3rd, live streaming our experience with this new season 18 drop. So we hope you guys join us and help us venture all the bugs and anything else that could possibly go wrong. But maybe something cool will happen and we'll capture that live on this channel. That's all we have for you for the moment. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Oscapt. And I'm Noodle Pants. And until next time, for the love of God, Bethesda, do something right. <laughs> and stay safe out there, Vault Dwellers. In the heart of West Virginia, where the shadows creep and sway, lies a land of rusted dreams, where the brave dare not stray. Appalachia, oh, it's a treacherous ride. With dangers untold and no